Hey guys, what's up? My name is Runner Lifestyle and welcome back to another brand new video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over and reviewing and also customizing the brand new Ocelot XA21 that was just released in the Grand Theft Auto Online today. Now I'm super stoked that I actually added this one first instead of the Ocelot Ardent. This is definitely one of the vehicles that a lot of people have been waiting for for quite some time. But anyways, like I said, we're going to be going over the car, customizing it, and also giving you guys my advice on whether you should buy it at the end of the video. So anyways, let's go ahead, let's bring this in the Los Santos Customs and I'll show you guys some of the stuff you can mod on it. So immediately when I entered Los Santos Customs, I was absolutely blown away of how much modifications there are for this vehicle. It's got to be one of the most modifiable supercars in the game. So the first thing I clicked on was the front bumpers and like I said, I was absolutely amazed on how many bumpers there are. There's seven and eight including the stock bumper. Now there's another seven for the rear bumper as well. So this thing has tons and tons of different bumper options and rear diffuser options. Now something that I think Rockstar added into the game to set this supercar apart from all the other ones in the game is this one you could actually customize the engine bay you don't have to go to Benny's garage you could do it right here in Los Santos customs so I think that's another cool feature but I'm not gonna go over every single mod you could do but as you guys can see there's tons and tons and tons of modifications you could do to this vehicle now I could probably sit here and make a 10 minute video for you guys but honestly I'm not that kind of youtuber so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna skip through all this but like I said there's tons of modifications you could do to this car as you can see I'm speeding up right here and there's tons of stuff that you could do to this vehicle now one more feature i want to go over before we leave los santos customs is when you actually change the paint job of the car the rims change too if you keep the stock rims so i really do like the style of the stock rim so i really like how they did that and how it changes color with the paint job of the vehicle so anyways let's go ahead let's bring this outside and i'm going to show you guys the final product so sadly it was raining during the making of this video so i wasn't able to show you guys outside but here we are we're in a different los santos customs the one near the big Los Santos River thing but as you guys can see this thing looks absolutely amazing I think Rockstar really did nail it with this one they definitely put a lot of time and effort into this vehicle and it definitely shows everything is very very detailed with this vehicle even the interior I was very impressed with the interior when I saw it so overall it is definitely one of my favorite supercars in the game now it was very expensive it was two million three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars so it is definitely a lot of money it's not the most expensive supercar in the game but it's definitely up there now what sold me is this this right here now we're out here on the highway as you guys can see and I just want you guys to hear this car it's so unique it pops and it just sounds absolutely amazing so I'm gonna let you guys have a listen of this car right now and let me know what you guys think So right after I bought the supercar, I was kind of bummed. I'm already out $2.3 million, basically 2.4, and I just have a supercar, new supercar. But then I took it out on the road, and I heard the exhaust pop, and I'm like, holy crap, this is very unique to this car. I absolutely love it. So in my opinion, I definitely think you guys should definitely go buy this. There's not that much that's wrong with it. It's just very, very expensive. And from what I've heard on YouTube videos is this could be one of the fastest supercars in the game right now. So it is a very expensive buy, but it is definitely worth it for the customization and and the noise of the car and not to mention the speed as well now anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos now I'll most likely be posting a top five paint jobs for this vehicle either later today but it's already pretty late probably tomorrow so just keep an eye out for that but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video